Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today we are doing a review on a minimap pack. So, previous experience I've had was initially with the Twin Needle from New Zealand minimap, which was pretty robust for a small little minimap, roughly $120 give or take I'd say. And we also had the GMR minimap, which was way more expensive. Even though we got a decent Gen 1 Coyote Brown model, it was still close to the uh, $300 mark, as they tend to go for. So, continuing on, looking at different mini-maps, I know there's the TMC one, I haven't had a chance to test that out, but that one's like $30 or something stupid, but there's another one that I've seen recently pop up on eBay that looks pretty interesting, and that was specifically, well that's not a good sign, <laughs> the uh, Fly, aka Modi mini-map. And I moved a little buckle down here, I don't really like this buckle, but we'll get onto that here in a minute. So, this mini-map clearly takes a lot of uh, keynotes from other companies. You got the uh, ring and forest molly webbing on the sides and stuff here. That was pretty common with uh, BDS mag pouches and stuff. But you've also got the side zipper designs and uh, other notes taken from, uh, was it, GMR Green Mountain Rangers and their mini-map pack. So, Let's start with the back. So back here, you have the uh, tablet. Well, tablet, it's not tablet, it's little tabs and nubs and stuff, so you can attach it to a strap kit. The strap kit is sold separately. It's about $30, whereas this bag's about 60 so about half the price, you can turn this into a decent little backpack. You've got the little uh, removable, detachable clips here onto the buckle, which is also a feature I saw on the GMR minimap, but not the uh, twin needle one. So that's cool, so I'd probably take these buckles off to begin with, because you're probably not going to carry anything too crazy that needs the support. And if you did need the support, go away, Mosquito. You would want the support on the lower portion. But yeah, you got the 3x2 uh, set of uh, molly webbing on the sides, so you can attach extra magazine pouches or grenade pouches. There is a built-in split little compartment here that can hold two magazines right off the bat. You do have little tabs here so you can throw in some shock cord and put some support there. It's clearly designed to be used with some sort of inserts, but as you can see, I don't have them. There is Velcro on the sides to keep that closed when not in use, so if you pull out a mag, you can help keep dirt and nasty stuff out of there. Although, with that little elastic uh, bungee in the center, it's pretty interesting. So, need a little piece of gear. So, moving on, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this buckle off because I don't like it. It's not helping anyone, this is getting in the way. And the thing I dislike about this buckle as opposed to the uh, GMR one, oh this thing's stuck on there, is that it has these uh, things to retain the extra parts of the uh, material. However, these little clamp things are a pain to adjust and I wouldn't even bother with them. Actually, let's just do that. So yeah, as you can see, three different options for mounting that on there, but we're just going to rip this off. And by rip it off, I mean remove it professionally. Yeah. There's one. Come up to the other side. Oh, those are those are really stiff. There we go. So now we got something a bit more usable. So you got a good chunk of space there, as you can see. That's where you mount all your extra stuff. The ability to turn it into a normal backpack is pretty fantastic, because you can run it slick, or you can actually have it set up to where you can take it off with your play carrier. Now, Minimass, of course, became popular with the advent of JPCs in such plague areas because you can mount it directly onto the back and not have the overhang you would have with more traditional map packs like this one, size comparison. I love this one though, this one's a bit long though. So, look back here, you got one, two, three, four, five bits of molly uh, sets, so it lines up pretty nicely with the back of the JPC. You could probably even run it one lower and everything would be Gucci. So, that being said, let's move on. We'll start with the small pocket first. You pop that boy open here, it's got all these, oh boy, zipper guards, and these basically are designed to get in the way of the zipper. It's a design I've never really liked with a lot of packs. I get the idea is to protect the uh, zipper material, the zipper itself from abrasion and friction and stuff, and in that case it's good, but when you need access to it, the zipper can get caught on it, and that causes problems. I haven't had that issue with this one yet, but it's a concern to bear in mind. So this here is very... Um, we'll say baseball shaped, as you can see, get the fist in there and you really run out of space. There's not a lot of square design to it, so it's very ball shaped. So you can throw a baseball in there, if that's what you're carrying, but that's something. So there's not a lot of space given to be worked with there, but that's alright. So again, back here you got the two pockets. You can see where the uh, shot cord's supposed to go through to hold the magazines in. 
but it's all really stiff Velcro. So clearly they want you to be using some type of insert, probably something around the lines of a Spiritus 556 magazine insert. Although you could also conceivably fit smoke grenades in there and carry two of them. So that's a cool feature. I do enjoy that. I know GMR had their crazy, oh, you can do just about anything with this mini map and you had people who just throw these zippers in and throw in uh, Velcro grenade holders and all sorts of crazy stuff. To the point that it was a mini map seemed to be kind of unnecessary because you were carrying so much stuff. So, moving on, let's get to the top zipper here. So if you come to the normal axis, you've got um, some uh, paracord up here, presumably for helping mount your uh, small thin hydration pouch or a wide hydration pouch. And it's not a whole lot of room in there. You do got a little bit of Velcro, so clearly a note taken from GMR, although it's not removable or anything like that. You fit your little hydro pouch back there. And you should be pretty good. I think it's only 500 to 700 milliliter. No, I think you probably get at least a liter, maybe two liters in there. But you're probably going to struggle to get the three liter in unless you use the fat one, but that's going to take up the entire pack. And then you got your extra space there. So, with that in mind, the keynote that I saw that was on the GMR one, these don't have the Velcro down here, but you do still have side access. So, you can still pop these open and get access to things in the bottom of your pack. Ta da! While well, wearing it, that's a cool little feature, so we're going to close this up, so this is mounted on your back like so, you can always have someone get access to your lower portion of supplies if you got anything important down there that you can't pull out from the top. And that also tucks back in there right away. Easy peasy, that helps protect the zipper. Off on the side here, you got your markers, so there's your little fly eagle guy. And on the back it says, Fly Industries, and then you got your Condora fabric to let you know that this thing's going to take a beating. So good things to know. So, that's more or less everything con pertaining to this pack. It is considerably cheap. I think it's 500 Condor, given the uh, feel of the material. And of course, it's using the uh, more uh, cooler, oh, who made it? Blue Force gear, I think was the first one I saw to make these little molly tabs. So you got nothing to clip in or anything crazy like that. Just mount that onto your plate carrier and you're good to go. Now how well does this work with uh, SPCs and JPCs? I know they're designed JPCs in mind. As you can mount them on any plate carrier and have pretty uh, pretty easy time. So, it's a cool little map pack, I gotta say that much. It's not my favorite, but it comes with a good chunk of features, especially considering the price. And it's got actual Condora durability going on. I know Fly made the, uh, I used to have a green map pack, a Ranger green one that I had uh, from them before that was being marketed as something else entirely because apparently people just don't really know their gear. So, with that in mind, that's everything there is. This little mini map pack, it's fantastic. It's a far more uh, viable company than uh, TMC. And you can fold it in half. Isn't that cool? I don't know why you would need to, but I mean, you can, so. Yeah, so I'd probably mount some uh, smoke grenades or extra mags on there. You can carry, just turn this into a mag bag and carry all the ammo you want forever. Yeah, so cool stuff. Pretty fantastic little pack. I do got the uh, straps on the way. So we'll be able to see what the straps can do when they get here. Oh, I almost forgot. There's only a single hydration port, uh, pow uh, hydration port on here, whereas the uh, Warrior Assault Systems one had two. Well, that one runs up through, where is it? There it is through the top up here. And it has kind of a backwards forward setup, so it's a little bit different than normal, but there's no elastic to this, so you might have fun getting the tube in and out of there, if you know what I mean. So, that's everything in this pack. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. It's pretty fantastic, especially considering the price, so if you're looking for a small little bag to throw on your play carrier, and you want something durable, but it's not going to cost you three hundred dollars um then yeah you got fly industries here now where's fly industries made that's my big question i don't see any uh information as to where the packs are made but you better tell me i'm pretty sure are fly industries made in america pretty sure they are i'll find out i'll put in the comments somewhere oh yeah you got your four little bits of molly here still not sure what these are for you could probably take another groin protector and mount it on there to keep your uh, booty safe because you only have one asterisk. Yeah, so. Velcro. 
Yeah, that's just about everything. So if you got any qu comments or questions, feel free to hear me out. Um, as always, as I never mentioned it in any of my previous videos, like, comment, and subscribe. It is the cool kid thing to do. But yeah, I'll get more reviews here going in a second. This is just a cool little pack. I'll probably uh, hand this over to one of my buddies so he can go run it through the ground and see how well it holds up. So, cheers everyone. Stay chillers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.